It started with a vision. It started with a dream. It started with a seed. On the 2nd of September of 1965, a small group of Catholic families came together to create a new faith community. They petitioned Bishop John Markowski to establish a mission with the hope of an eventual church in Friendswood. Permission was given, and on September 26, 1965, La Salette Father Edward Egan pastor of St. Peter the Apostle Church in Houston, was sent to celebrate the first Mass at Friendswood City Hall. As membership grew, there was a need to move the Mass to the junior high school cafeteria, and later to the Episcopal Church. On March 30, 1966, a letter from Father Egan was sent to the bishop stating, the trial period should be over. It's time to build a new church. The La Salette Fathers owned 20-acre tract of land in Friendswood. They had originally planned to build a seminary on the land, but after discernment decided against it, the Diocese of Galveston, Houston, purchased eight acres of land from the La Salette Fathers. A small wooden house on the property was renovated for use as a church. The church was designated a mission of St. Peter the Apostle Catholic Church. The first Mass was held on August 7, 1966. The bishop elevated the mission's status to the parish of Mary Queen to be served by the La Salettes of the Mary Queen province. The La Salette's charism of reconciliation sets the stage for Mary Queen to become a unique and special parish for generations to come. With 290 families, the parish had outgrown the little house. In March of 1970, the bishop approved plans for a new church. The first mass in the new church was celebrated on Palm Sunday, 1971. With a population boom taking place in Friendswood, the new parish soon outgrew the second facility. In 1978, the bishop approved plans for a new church. Mary Queen parishioners celebrated Mass in the new church on November 19, 1978. The church had a capacity of 700. The second church became the parish hall and classroom facility. Ten years later, a new hall was built to provide adequate office space, classrooms, and social area. Over the next 20 years, the church continued to grow with more than 2,800 families. It was once again a time for a new church.
In 2008, the bishop approved plans to build a new church. The dedication and first mass was celebrated in the new church on April 21st, 2012.